this was just such a relaxing project to make and I actually love how it turned out. This is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So I am here with the final walkthrough of my lab book um, journal style um, album here or book. And this was such a relaxing process of um, the making of it was just what I needed. <laughs> and I love the fact that I used all the things that I had here on my craft room already, like file folders, I use um, envelopes, paper bags, paper doilies, pieces of laces that I just had laying around. And so yeah, I love how it came together. I am using a digital collection by, by Dreams Etc. and I will have a link down below. And so yeah, so what I love about digitals is that you can print as many as you need. You can print over and over again and you can choose them and you know pick and choose what you actually want to use so i use a lot of the ephemera and uh, some of the lined papers from the collection but the collection also comes with like days like if you want to do an advent calendar or a december daily you got a one through 25 then also it has it has like card sets so you can create cards and the way they have it set up is like you can layer the pieces and make three-dimensional cards so it's pretty cool but anyway so let me show you the project so if you were following along with me i have a three-part tutorial on how i make this book it was more like a craft with me type of tutorial and i will have them linked down below if you want to watch those videos and craft along with me <laughs> so up up in the front here i have a lot of stitching some vintage lace uh, from my stash paper toilies these two images are from the collection and and the and the front cover i have a pocket with some of these large tags some serious silk to make it look a little bit more grungy i did ink everything around using some distress inks i used two different types and this is how the back looks like now this is not from the collection this is just some cardstock that i had on my stash and it feels so chunky and so good and it has a lot of room for you to add your pictures your journaling and let's take a look inside so i do have a closure here with some more serious silk and i just love the look of it how rustic and not rustic but like grungy with the stitching and everything you know all these pieces i put some buttons in there now these tags i had already made um, from my stash and we can definitely add a little bit of journaling in there this all the images that you'll see out from are from the digital collection so i just created little collages here and there here's some lined paper so you can actually add a journaling in here or a picture whichever you like and and here we also have a pocket now this other tag i made into a journaling little booklet with some scrap pieces of coffee dye paper that i have so we can actually add quite a lot of journal journaling in there and here's some buttons i stitch everything into this tag and so yeah so that goes right in here and let me show you this side first so this side has this trifold type of thing using envelopes now i do mean to put um some velcro here i just don't know where my velcro is i might have to go get some more but so i am just using some envelopes as you can see so we can journal in here i wanted to leave these pages plain for journaling and then we do have the envelope part that works as pockets some beautiful santa images here and a little ticket and on this side the way we created this booklet it turned into like a belly band where we can actually journal again and then i added this piece from the collection and this is also a pocket so i have one of these other printable sheets that i actually printed double-sided and that could be a place for journaling and we can also add more um things in here if we have this is the part where i made like a journal so 
Again, a different collage of the images from the collection and a paper doily, some stitching, some coffee dye paper, some laces that I think these were coffee dyed as well. Um, some envelopes that work as pockets. Now these you can fill in even more as you journal, but I do I did want it to put different textures. Here's a glassine bag. There was also coffee dyed and some more papers book pages, uh, papers that I stitched a little bit. Here's a paper bag, more of these book pages. So yeah, lots of room for journaling, to, uh, room to create your own spreads and decorate even more. And we do everything step-by-step step in the tutorial if you want to check that out. Here's some pockets. I just love how it looks. It just looks very eclectic with different bits and pieces of everything. This is an airmail envelope that I had. And on this side, it's like a tax bag. And this page I only printed on one side. That's why it looks like that. On the back here, I wanted to make some room to put different pieces. So maybe we'll do some tags or some different ephemera or memorabilia from Christmas. And this is just two pockets and then it tucks in right there these little envelopes let me see if i can do this right there you go so that is this side and i love how chunky it is but at the same time we have a big gusset so we can expand into that journal as well all right so now let's look at the right side this is the first side that we work together now from the tutorial, I went ahead and I added some of more of these um, vintage lace that I had left over. I just wanted to use it somewhere. And another little piece here with this adorable little Santa Claus. He is so cute. Look at him. And some stitching all around. Now this opens up like that. And here we have an area where we can journal. Or you can collage something on there. And then I added this glassine bag as a pocket to hold another little journal. And again, with I just put one of the sheets from the collection and then a bunch of scrap pieces and stitch them together with some of these vintage lace. And this one is more plain. I didn't do anything to that, but we can definitely uh, decorate as we journal along. And there you go. So I plan on using this little book journal since it's so eclectic i want to do like a combination of different christmas pictures throughout the years in no particular order just whatever i have and so yeah so not like a daily not like a december daily just whatever just whatever christmas memories we have over here i created this little booklet using a paper bag this is a different type of paper bag like one of those lunch bags and some more stitching more of this pretty lace and place here to journal this is a little pocket from the back and i added this little tag that goes in right there you can add more tags in here i went ahead and i stitched the sides of the pocket also so then when we open this bag we have some pages here so we can journal a little more place for a picture you can journal you can add pictures you can do anything you'd like. Another piece from the collection. And then this, um, on this other side, we have some lace in there, more area for picture. And then we have this little trifold. And the trifold is held together by this little paper clip. Now, I think this is pretty cool. This is also from the collection. It comes like this on one solid piece. So what I did is add two magnets and then back these on this cardstock and fuzzy cut it all around. And now this is like a little hole there, like a closure, like a clip. And on this back, I didn't do much to this. I just added some more of these little pieces of lace, turned this into a pocket. Then this is a trifold. So it opens here. This is a little book pages, just so it can be like a good base for a collage. We can add pictures in there. Here's a little piece from the collection, some lace. On this other side, we have a pocket. It's actually a double pocket. More of that lace. And if we open it this way, then another image here from the collection that we can use as a collage. And then I added a little envelope 
there and I inked all around. And another one of these little tags that were super easy to make and just they look so cute with the buttons, the lace and the thread here hanging. So that closes up like that and then we add Santa here um, to hold it all together just like that. And that is this little booklet. Then we have some more lace on this on this little spine here. And then we have two of those large tags, the same ones that we use here on the front. And we made these into flaps. Images from the collection, look how beautiful <laughs> these ladies are. So elegant and so like old fashioned-y. Love that. And then it says wishes more of these stitches hanging everywhere and here we can probably add pictures or whatnot and then on this pay on this part here i also use it envelopes but we use this in a different way so now we can probably store in here christmas pictures that you were sent throughout the year something special that you want to keep little tickets or maybe just add some cards with some journaling in there and then on the back, we have this pocket that is from the file folder as well. And I wanted to do another little journal. So this one is like a block too. We use the design paper as the cover and just stitch everything through. And quite a lot of pages here as well for you to journal, decorate, you know, add notes. Christmas shopping list or whatnot. So just some something fun to have here on this pocket. And that is it. This is my eclectic little lap book journal. And I just love how it turned out. It's very dynamic, very grungy, vintage -y, functional. I think we have a lot of room for journaling and for pictures. And I just, I really like the look of it. I hope that you guys like it and enjoy this video. And I really want to wish you a merry merry christmas and i hope that you are enjoying the season and enjoying being with your family and so yeah so i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye